Coach Morgan. You sound dumb. Camera security busting through my door at 10 a.m. talking about some contraband. We gonna have some issues. You black hating on a black man. You racist to your own culture. Coach Moody, Coach Morgan, y'all some frauds, man. Y'all not real coaches. I don't know who y'all think y'all are, but it ain't coaches. You cut off his culture for some basketball. Life is bigger than basketball. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, J. Lou. Got some things to talk about with you today. Some things that you really need to know, all right? Stuff about me that you need to know. Something about this college, this school that you need to know. Uh, it's a whole lot of things you need to know. Especially people that's been recruited by this school that you think that you special because you got an uh, offer from this school. You really need to know the truth about this school before you even go into it. My thing is, if you got to commit to something, if you're going to do anything, look into it. Same thing as a contract. Let me tell you about some stupid stuff about this school and about the coach and the program. Bluefield College, worst school you can ever go to. Honestly, like if you've been anywhere, where have you ever heard of Bluefield College? I've never heard of this school in my life, but we gonna backtrack a little bit. I was playing AAU, yeah, so I was 19 years old because I had reclass and stuff. Just got a full offer to Stillwater College. I've never heard of that school ever before either. Recently found out that they was scamming people, so I left them. Some lady hit me up, was like, hey, look, we got uh, this coach, Coach Moody. He say he's gonna try to hook you up. We're gonna get you a tryout. Woody, woody, woo. Hook you up like that, right? I was like, bet. All right, go to the workout, because, I mean, me, being me, I know who I am. I know what I can do. I've been underrated all my life. All I need is a tryout. I'll be on the team just like that. And guess what happened? I was on the team. Got uh, some scholarship money, not full scholarship, because I don't think they do that unless you like D1, if you D1, because this is a D2 school. D2 schools don't get full scholarships. They get partial scholarship money. Tried out, I had my twist in my hair, you know what I'm saying, made the team, right? And then um, during school year, you know, doing my work. Um, then uh, after I done my work, in between classes, we go to uh, workouts and stuff like that. And um, by that time, the head coach came in. It was, I guess it was like three months into the school year. Got into the school year, right? Head coach, Coach Morgan, he was working some of the other dudes out. I'm just getting out of class, so I'm running outside. You know, we got this big old hill. So I'm running down the hill trying to catch up to him. I'm just watching, observing the team and stuff like that. Wait till they finish, right? So I can work out too. And um, then Coach Morgan calls me over. He's like, hey. I was like, oh, what's good? I'm thinking like, okay, you wanna talk to me? You know what I'm saying? He might, might have heard of me somewhere. This man ain't heard of me. But the one thing that he did notice was my hair. Like I said before, my hair was twisted. I had it in a ponytail. This dude is uh, talking about, hey, you gonna have to fix that. And I'm like, Okay, he probably choking or something like that. I'm like, all right, bro, cool. Just try to warm up to me a little bit. Nah, he was dead serious. He was like, hey, bro, you gotta fix that hair. And I'm like, uh, why? What's wrong with my hair? It was like, we don't do uh, twists and dreads over here. And I'm like, whatever, man. I don't, I don't care. I just take my hair out. It's, uh, it's out like this all the time anyway. So when I'm playing basketball, I will take it out anyway. So I'm like, man, I ain't worried about that. So I just bypassed what he said and just went on about my day. Took my hair out. And I'm talking about the next day. And it was long. Like, it was big. And it was curly and stuff, too. Kind of like this, though. It was just bigger. Just picture that. I walk around the school, man. My hair was looking nice. Everybody was like, okay, bro. Your hair look tough, bro. I was walking around the school. I was like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look. And they was like, how you get your hair like that? I was like, bro, get that S curl. I don't use no S curl. So I'm going to the library, right? The athletes on the basketball team, we meet up at the library and we try, we do our work and stuff like that. I'm noticing like it's a whole lot of athletes. I'm like, yo, why is it this many kids on one basketball team? So we all in there and um, we meet up there like every day. I guess they call it learning lab. But we go to the learning lab and um, we uh, do our work and on the computer and um, do our homework and stuff early so we ain't gotta do nothing later, right? Before Coach Moody comes in there and Coach Morgan comes in there, all the athletes talking about, hey, bro, look, you know they gonna try to make you cut your hair, right? I'm like, bro, I'm not cutting my hair for nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? what? I'm not cutting my hair for nobody. After they started hyping it up, talking about, oh, they gonna make you cut your hair. They, the, both of the coaches came in, right? They talking about, you gonna have to do something about that. You gonna have to cut that off. I'm like, I'm not cutting my hair off. And, and then he started trying to get hype with me and start yelling. Like, bro, I'm not finna take that. First of all, that's discrimination. You cannot discriminate anybody for their hair, 
or what they look like. That is discrimination. I don't care if you black hating on a black man, you racist to your own culture. And I'm not trying to be funny saying that. That's a real thing. A lot of black people hate black people. A lot of white people hate white people. And that's just not right. We should all love each other the exact same way. Put them over to the side, cause you know, I didn't wanna like cause a scene. I'm trying to be professional with it. Show my professional side, because me being an athlete, I wanna be a pro. And me being a pro, I wanna take this professional. I put them to the side. I was like, hey, can I talk to you tomorrow morning um, to talk about this hair situation? He's like, all right, cool. Um, I'll text you because we had this WhatsApp thing. I'll text you on WhatsApp, tell you what time to show up. And I was like, all right, cool. Boom. So I eat, go to sleep, wake up in the morning. Boom. I ain't had no classes that day. I told him I was free. Go to his office. And I said, yo, so why do you want me to cut my hair off? He was like, well, um, I really just want you athletes to, you know, look professional and get jobs. And me thinking in my head, I'm like, what? What are you talking about? It's like this man is trying to act like my dad or something. Coach Morgan, what are you talking about? Coach Morgan, you're not my dad. Coach Morgan, you're not, you're not my, friend. my friend. Coach Morgan, who are you to tell me that I can't get a job with the hair that I got? Coach Morgan, I own my own business. What are you talking about? Coach Morgan, you sound dumb. If you watch this, because I hope you are, you're probably the worst coach I've ever seen in my entire life. But I'm not going to get on you about that right now. We can just let everything else take care of itself. You can get fired on your own time. After we had that discussion, he told me that I didn't have to cut my hair off. Right? I didn't have to do it. Cool. I was like, yeah, all right, bet. I leave, a couple weeks go by, and then something is weird, right? We're doing workouts, and um, for some reason, I'm the one doing extra workouts. Uh, sometimes when we're doing like uh, group workouts, he will call me up and say, Jaren, go run the block, or something like that. It's, it's a word from saying like, I gotta run around the whole building. It's this track, it's like a whole building. It's maybe two miles, and I have to run that. and. I think he told me to run it twice, and um, I was like, cool, all right, I'm running it. Cause like, I don't care. Like, it's not like you hurting me. It's, it's, for anything, it's getting me more in shape. I mean, I run all the time. I don't get tired. I was telling um, some other people about it, some of the athletes, I'm like, what's going on, man? And um, they were like, man, they making us do the same thing too. They said it's because of your hair. I'm like, wait, what? They making y'all do what? And at that point, when I heard that, did they punishing my teammates, my friends, over some hair just because I won't cut it off? Coach Moody, Coach Morgan, y'all may think y'all hard and y'all pressure some other kids to cut their hair so they can look like you. Coach Morgan, I know you can't grow hair. Coach Moody, you got bald spots. Some of the kids, they really cut their hair off too. I know a couple of kids that cut their hair off and they wanted their hair. One of my guys, man, he cut his hair off and he been growing dress for years. You made him cut his hair off. That's his culture. You cut off his culture for some basketball. Life is bigger than basketball. After I heard about all of that stuff happening, I was I was working on paper forms to report them, and like I, at that point, I was trying to get them fired. It's just ridiculous. But the only thought that was coming out of my head was just like, yo, I gotta get out of here. So I tried to put my name in the transfer reporter. I was talking to several counselors at Bluefield College. Um, you can ask them now, they, they will tell you, man, it was a struggle trying to get it because of the athletic department, athletic director. They was making it hard for me. I couldn't do anything. Whole time I was trying to do it, old buddy up in the athletic director's office telling Coach Moody, Coach Morgan, everything I was trying to do. Trying to get me out of there, you know what I'm saying? While I'm trying to transfer, some very big problems occurred. Some Something that I do not condone at all. Like, he was almost about to get me out of character. Remember these names, Coach Moody and Coach Morgan. Both of them try to plot and scheme on me. I'm gonna tell you this, I'm a good dude. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't go to parties. I barely even been talking to girls. I barely talk to anybody. Everybody would tell you that. All I do when I was on campus, I stay in my dorm, stay to myself, edit some videos because I own my business on the side. Yeah, I just stay out the mix. That's me. Me being the person that I am uh, really shocked me and other people around me too. Like they would tell you, man, it was like, man, that's not you, bro. Like I know they lying. And what I mean by that is, Bluefield College tried to frame me. Coach Moody and Coach Morgan tried to frame me. I had class the following day. I ain't, I ain't have class the next day. So man, I felt like, man, I was gonna sleep in, man. I was gonna sleep good too. like. 
it was about to be so good. I haven't been sleeping like well for that past week because I had class about every single day, trying to get homework every single day. It was just, you know how college life is, right? Late nights, early mornings. The next day, I didn't have any class. So I was just trying to sleep in, you know, trying to go work out later on the day and have fun, you know what I'm saying? Around 10 o'clock that, that next morning, 10 o'clock, that's not sleeping in, right? 10 o'clock on my day off. I'm guessing they thought that I was in class. Campus security, bust through my dorm room, be in my dorm roommate, we were both in there. They talking about some contraband. Contraband of what? What's contraband? They started searching through my stuff. I stood up, I went in his face. I said, you search through my stuff one more time. We're gonna have some problems. People know me, but look, I'm very protective. I don't like people searching through my stuff because you never, you never know what could happen. Me being a black man in West Virginia, anything could happen. They can plant stuff on me. They can plant stuff in my stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't trust nobody in my stuff. Campus security busting through my door at 10 a.m. talking about some contraband. We gonna have some issues. I'm saying, who sent the contraband order? And contraband of what? They wouldn't say nothing. I stood in his face again. I said, contraband of what? He talking about, um, they was talking about um, a kid name. I'm not gonna say his name because it was true about him. But, and they said Jaron Lewis and some other kid were hot boxing in a car the following night. What? The following night? Like I said, I was doing homework. And then at three in the morning, I'm coming to my dorm room because I was playing basketball with my friend Amelia, you know, my dog Millie, my dog uh, Teron, and my two twin brothers, you know what I'm saying? We was both, we was all playing basketball. Oh, in this ugly dude named Peanut. We was all playing basketball in the, in this campus gym till like three in the morning at night. So I'm coming to the, the room and I'm confused in the morning. I'm like, what the heck is going on? I'm scared at that point. And I said, who sent it out? They talking about, um, oh, it was the athletic director's office. Oh, really? That's who, that's who it was. Automatically, just like that. I knew who it was at that point. Coach Moody and Coach Morgan. I guess they're trying to clap back and retaliate because I'm trying to leave campus and ultimately expose them for what they've been trying to do, discriminate me and my hair, right? They don't want to be called out or nothing like that. But for me, I'm not going to let that happen. That's the reason I'm making this video. The reason I ain't come about it any sooner, like a dummy, is because, you know, I didn't really have, you know, I ain't have the platform I do now. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't have... I ain't have a YouTube channel. I ain't have no way to actually get it out to where people can see it permanently. So Coach Moody, Coach Morgan, y'all may not have been exposed fully then, but you're exposed now. I don't really know what y'all were uh, planning to do with me, but um, it didn't work. I'm not in jail nowhere because you tried to frame me for something. I'm still a successful young black man. I'm still kicking it. Coach Moody, Coach Morgan, y'all some frauds, man. Y'all not real coaches. I don't know who y'all think y'all are, but it ain't coaches. It sure as hell ain't, man. Coach Morgan, you a disgrace to black men. You a disgrace to this black community. I don't even know if you black. You look Indian or something. You a disgrace to this community. You being in West Virginia, I mean, it says it all. The history and the culture of West Virginia just ain't good, period. I don't know what you're trying to do to these black men that come to school and just want to get an education and play basketball, but it's not right. Sure as hell not right. I don't care what kind of coach you think you are, but we're not your kids. Listen, man, that's my story. Obviously, that's my perspective. If you had any experience kind of similar to that, feel free to hit me up. Comment down below. We can get some popping. We gonna plan to get these dudes out of here. We're not letting them uh, torment or discriminate no longer. Bluefield College, y'all better without. Don't get me wrong, Bluefield College is not a bad school. Just had some bad people. Hopefully nobody else had to go through anything like this. But if you have searched up Bluefield College and you came across this video, then um, now you know. Man, all this talking got me thirsty.